Hello guys, welcome to the introductory session of the Python tutorials. Today we'll talk about installing and setting up Python and PyCharm for our systems. Now I'm going to demonstrate setting up processes for Mac and Windows. For Ubuntu users, I'm going to leave a link in my description below to set up these applications. I've never used an Ubuntu, so I don't think I should be talking about it. Let's talk about setting up Python and PyCharm for Windows. Since I have a Mac, I'm using a Windows 10 installed VirtualBox to demonstrate you how to set it up. Let's go ahead to Google and download Python 3. Now if I Google Python, then the first link that I would get is from the Python website. So here we can go to python.org. Once you click on it, go to downloads. Now once you are there, you will see that the latest version is python 3.7. However, I am not going to download it. Instead, I will download python 3.6.5. The reason is, I know there are some python libraries that 3.7 is still not able to support. If you are a beginner, it won't matter that much. However. I would still recommend to download python 3.6.5 so let's find that version here here you can see python 3.6.5 now let's click on download <laughs> then we are taken to this page where we have to choose which file that we are going to download if you go down below we have to look for something called executable so here you see there is a Windows x86 64 executable installer for Python 3.6.5. We are going to download this. Save. Now once your Python executable has finished downloading, press run. Once you press run, Python will ask you to install the Python uh, executable that you have downloaded and you have to press install now here. However, before you install it, you have to click this button. You have to check this button. It basically says add Python 3.6 to path. Now, why is this important? Path is basically an environment variable in Windows. If you don't add Python 3.6 to path, you'll have a hard time running your Python scripts. If you add it to your path, you can directly call Python space your script name and it will work perfectly in your command line. Therefore, make sure you add python 3.6 to path, you check this option and now you can press install now. Then it will ask you if uh, you can make, if this app can make changes to your device, press yes, I don't think that's very important. Now once your setup process is complete, you will see a, a, a tab like this. Your setup was successful. Special thanks to Mr. Mark Hammond. Uh, new to Python, start with online tutorial and documentation. So great. Now we have successfully installed Python to our system. Now if you could close this, also close the Internet Explorer. We don't need this. Now we can go to command line. Look for CMD. Open command prompt. And if we type python here you can see python 3.6.5 has been installed to our system this means if this is if you type python and this is what it shows this means the installation process has been successful let's do something here so you know uh, that yeah python is working let's say we declare x equal to 2 and if we print x great it's giving us 2 now let's check out the installation procedure for Mac. In Google, I can type Python. It's pretty much the same that we did in Windows, but let's see it. So now if when I go to Python website, I can go to downloads. Again, I see 3.7 is the latest version, but I'm not interested in that. I want Python 3.6.5. I'll go to downloads again. And then 
I have to look for installable but this installer but this time for Mac OS X so here you can see there is a 64 bit installer there is a 32 bit installer so I think I'll I'll choose this one so it will uh, uh, adjust to whatever the uh, memory is let's click on it and wait for it to finish downloading once it has finished downloading I can again click on it and then this will start the installation wizard uh, keep going continue I'm sure you, you have gone through this process in a lot of other softwares and then uh, yeah I want to install to Macintosh HD and then press install now you might be prompted to provide your password for your Mac to give and basically we have to wait for this progress bar to reach to the end now once your installation was completed successfully you will see something like this in your wizard congratulations python 3.6.5 or mac os 10 or later was successfully installed now you can close it and uh, it will ask you do you want to move the python installer to the trash yeah sure move it to the trash we don't need it now i can go to item or command line i use this one let me make this a little bigger oh sorry now if i type python 3 there you go we have python 3.6.5 installed on our mac so this is how we install python for both windows and mac now let's take a look at how to install PyCharm. So let's go ahead and install PyCharm. Go to google.com and type PyCharm. Then you will see the official website for PyCharm, PyCharm Python ID for professional developers. It, it is made by JetBrains. Now you can click on it or actually we, we could have also clicked on download PyCharm. Click on download PyCharm and here in this page you will see two versions one is the professional version and one is the community version the professional version has a lot of features compared to the community version but it, it also comes with a price uh, you have to pay a certain amount of money to keep using the professional version although there is a free trial here however we we don't need the professional version we can use the community versions for doing all our python uh, coding and all our python applications and it will just work fine so download this community version yeah it's okay and basically now we have to wait for this uh, Pyth uh, pycharm version to uh, stop uh, finish uh, downloading and once it is downloaded we, we are gonna install it and configure python 3.6 to the interpreter now once the pycharm has finished downloading click on the downloaded software the dmg file and let's wait for the DMG file to start installation. Now DMG file will be performing a lot of things. It will ask you to drag the PyCharm application to your applications folder. Do that and then and the PyCharm is copied to your application. Now you can close this and we can search for PyCharm. Open the PyCharm application. Uh, it will tell you, give you like uh, PyCharm C is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, I'm sure. We open it. And let's wait for this to open. So it will ask you in import PyCharm set settings from previous version, custom location, do not import settings. Let's not import any settings. We are going to. Uh, uh, boot it up from the scratch it is asking me this because I had earlier had PyCharm but I uninstalled it because I, I wanted to show you how to install it from scratch so scroll to the end to accept press accept and then here you are in the UI of PyCharm now we need to select key map scheme uh, I've never used PyCharm uh, or I used PyCharm before choose whatever applies to you 
uh, actually for now we can skip remaining and set the defaults there you go iCharm has been installed to Mac now let's create a new project and title it trial so the uh, project will be created to your PyCharm projects folder in your uh, uh, users file my uh, folder is called Lenin Mishra your uh, file uh, folder would be called by your name or whatever the name you have set up create Now let's wait for this virtual environment to finish and I'll come to you once it has finished everything. Now once all the in installation processes have finished, you will see a UI like this. You can see your project, trial project that you have created. Uh, you can see the uh, underlying folders uh, uh, under it. Now let's go to file. Sorry, let's go to file in PyCharm click on preferences for new projects and here you can see in the project interpreter tab there is no interpreter set so now we can click on the gear icon then press add and now we have to choose system interpreter and then you will see that the 3.6 Python has already been added to the system interpreter you can also check here where is it coming from and now cancel it and now we can press ok and PyCharm will load all the uh, libraries that come with the python 3.6 interpreter you can press apply ok and now you're all ready to start working with python let's do something let's create a python file name it trial Python will uh, uh, PyCharm will automatically add .py extension to your file. Let's say print hello world. It's usually the first program, right? Okay, it says no Python interpreter com configured for the project. Configure Python interpreter, and from the list here we can choose 3.6. Apply. Okay. Uh, you can see the four processes are running let's wait for these four processes to finish uh, and then uh, we can basically run our any kind of python code that we want so once all the background processes have finished running you will basically see that the message that said there is no python interpreter configured for this project it goes away so basically now we can go ahead and run our first python program hello world let's print hello world and run trial and there you go it prints hello world so that's it guys this tutorial was all about installing and setting up python and pycharm for your own systems we see, we saw it for windows we saw it for mac by the way pycharm will work uh, the installation process of pycharm will work the same way uh, in windows as it did in mac so you don't have to worry about it uh, another thing pycharm is just my favorite ide to use if you are already using some other kind of ide don't hesitate you can use it as long as you are comfortable with it ides are supposed to make your coding life easier and it's all about you being comfortable so go ahead choose your own ide or go ahead with PyCharm, it's, it really works good. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you guys. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you get notified every time I publish a new video. I publish videos about tutorials, I publish videos about trivias. I am also going to start publishing videos about competitive questions, interview related questions uh, in Python. So keep watching and I will see you next time.